Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a filter. This filter is basically just going to allow us to generate MD5 hashes inside of our view. And it's going to look a little something like this. We'll have a string here, then we'll have a pipe, and then we'll have our function name, which is MD5. And just to make this a little bit clearer and a little bit more readable, I'm going to remove these dollar signs from our variables. So just remove them in our view, and then I'll remove them from our lexer. Let's just make sure that we didn't break anything or remove this for now. Great. So let's put this back in, and now we're going to create our filter. So filters have to be above our lexer, otherwise we're going to get an error. So we're going to say md5 filter equals new twig simple filter. Our first parameter will be our function name, which is md5, as we can see here. And our second will be a closure. And this is going to take one parameter, which will be called string. And this is whatever's inside these two quotes here. So if we just return md5 string and refresh in our browser, we should get an error. And that's because we created the filter, but we didn't register it with the twig instance. So if we say twig add filter md5 filter and try again, perfect. We get our md5 hash here. You can have as many filters as you like. There's no limit.